Welcome to a new tutorial in the series of teaching SOLIDWORKS from the beginning. This is tutorial number 166 and we will continue talking about the sheet metal tools. In this tutorial we will talk about the cassette, the next option after the forming tools. And we will talk about the gusset options, how to use it, position it, and look at the shape, profile, dimensions, and at the end, we will look at some examples. So start a new part over there, and let's make a simple L beam by sheet metal. Let's give it some dimensions. And go to sheet metal, this flange, extruded to 30. Let's make it a, bit, a little bit wider, 50 millimeter. So on the bend radius, one millimeter, the thickness one millimeter, and k factor 0.38. So these are the values we are using almost in all our tutorials. So now let's have a look at the gusset tool. If you look over there, you will see the gusset icon, and also you will notice that it is a part in the forming tool section. So actually the gusset is a forming tool, but it has the gusset shape. So because it is a standard shape and it used to give to make the sheet metal stronger and increase the stiffness of the sheet metals. And you can, for example, when you use it, you'll notice it is a forming tool which you can make by yourself. So start the gusset, click on it, and here you will see the options. You will have the position and offset and profile. So let's talk about the position from the icon over there. You need to select two faces. So let's select this face and this face. You will see the gusset. Just in two clicks, you get your gusset made. And if you notice over there, they are the reference edge point. And we will make another case where we can make our edge and point. But if you click on the edge, you will see the reference edge is over there, and the point is on the other side with pink color. And the next option is the offset. If you look over there, you have distance of 20 millimeter. This is the distance from this point to the cassette. And if you uncheck the offset, you will have no offset and the distance over there, the offset distance grayed out. So here you have the, the gas without any Offset. If you click OK, so you see an error because the edges they are not complete. So let's click on Offset, and if you remember, the width of this is 50, so you can make it 25. You will get the gusset exactly in the middle. So click OK. Or before clicking OK, there's the profile. You can decide the shape of this cassette from the profile over there. Let's check the first option, the depth. So if you look on the picture over there, you will notice where is D, which is here. So it is the thickness that is written. Let's make it 30. Click OK. As you notice, the there is a drop. Let's make it without any drop because 
I used it before um, without any option over there. So this is the shape of the gusset, which you will see without any, without adding any fillet or any draft. So if you click on the gusset feature over there, you will notice the dimensions, which we added 25. It is from this edge to the middle of that gusset. The 30 is D, the depth, and 0.5 is the thickness and we'll show you later we'll talk about it as well later you can make it smaller and can make it click ok and if you change So that is the thickness over there. So let's continue talking about the next options. The profile dimensions, you have D1, D2. You can imagine it like a chamfer. For example, you can decide by the length of edges over there, one here and one there, because you see D1 and D2. You can make this 20. And the second, 40, or make this one 30, and this one 10. And also, you can control it with the with the angle with the angle over there. You can make it 45, and the length 30, or you can make it 30. So you understand the logic, the meanings of this. And if you click over there, flat cassette, you will have just without any fillet. If you click OK, you will get this cassette. So it's back again and click in the filleted cassette. And now here are the other options if you would like to make it wider for example you can make it 10 and the ending thickness should be less than the ended width for example we have 10 so here it should be 4 less than the half click ok and the ended and the cassette work it. Let's edit again. If you make it five, it, it will fail. So we make it 4.9. And you will get a very thick cassette. So let's make it again one millimeter similar to the thickness the sheet metal thickness so here you can add fillet from inside and outside so if you make one millimeter, let's make it two millimeter click ok you will get this inner fillet and we can also add a fillet on the outside let's add a fillet here for two or three millimeter and click OK and you will get the fillet over there inside and outside. So this is one case of using the gusset. So now this LBM gets supported by this gusset. So let's suppress this gusset and show you how to use the line. Make a line on that edge. So if you would like to have a gusset with an angle, let's make a line. For example, and give it some dimension. 
135 and make it for construction at this point this point can be considered so we have a line over there and let's make also a point somewhere over here let's make Uh, exit. So go to the gusset, select this face and this face, the edge you will start to pick this line. You will notice the gusset is perpendicular to that line. You can edit the values, you can make it 45 and here can make 40. Now then click OK and you will get the fillet inside and outside from the previous gusset. So now let's again edit and pick the point. If we pick this point, it will be as well a reference to that point. So the distance will be 25 from this point to the middle of that. And when you are done, click OK. So this is another case for using the gusset. So now let's start using the gusset in our previous example, which we did in tutorial number 158. As you remember, we made this shelf holder and we added this tab to fix it on the wall. But you can notice as well that is not enough. Go to the main sketch, edit, normal to let all these and delete rebuild and unsuppress the ending so now let's add a cassette instead of that tab click on uh, gusset, pick this face and this face, and let's now add a draft. And the thickness will be one millimeter, and we make it a bit. And here we can add a draft. and the depth of make it 50 you can increase the thickness a little bit so and here for the distance we know the distance is 38.38 .38. divided by 2 so this will be the middle of this holder and we have a fillet 2 millimeter and 2 millimeter over there and click ok you will get that cassette on this bending and the shell folder is stronger and can hold heavier loads. In the end of this tutorial, I would like to say if you want to make you a custom cassette, for example, like this 
shelf holder cassette with a special shape and it is as we said in the beginning the cassette is a forming tool so you can form it so here we have an example for that custom cassette and it will be an example in another channel and the link will be below.